Hey guys, okay, I have got a full box of products here. Check this out, check this out. Oh, I really have got to hand it to the, the people at Revolution, Makeup Revolution, whatever they're called. Uh, Revolution Beauty, that's what it is, I always forget. But their packaging is always spot on. <clears throat> it says quality, affordable, cruelty-free beauty for everyone. You are the revolution. But I mean, that's just so cute. Um, I have got a cat in here and she is trying to get into my bags over there. I just went to Hobby Lobby, so she's got a share in the excitement of new new items from new home decor. It's not really home decor. It's crafting stuff, yarn and other such. Anyway, um, so if you hear weird stuff going on there, it's her. Crazy kitty content. Am I right? Okay. All right, so I've got a few things, so we'll do a little bit of a haul, and then we'll try one of the products. How about that? Okay, this is the long-awaited Revolution Glow Body Veil Face and Body Foundation with Hyaluronic Acid and Vitamin C. Shade F0.2 F is probably going to be too light for me. I had it in my cart for when I am very fair so I don't know if I'll be able to try that today which is so sad because I'm sure everyone was just waiting and waiting this is a gigantic bottle 4.05 fluid ounces but it is face and body so like if you want to do legs arms face chest neck the whole that's what this is for um again let's just take a sneak peek all right so there's a little bit yeah way too light for the skin I got going on right now. Oh well, we'll see. I might be able to use it in the winter time. And honestly, I feel like a glowy product for the winter time is probably a really good idea since, one second, since you're probably going to have dry, dehydrated skin in the winter time. All right, so we also have this, is the Revolution Pro Creme, oh my goodness. Revolution Pro Creme Skin Perfector CC Skin Tint. Now, not long ago, this was the big thing. It was the Revolution Pro CC Perfecting Foundation. Okay, so these are not the same. This is the skin tint, which I assume they were hopping on that bandwagon for the entire um, summertime skin tint thing that they had going on this year. Okay, so that's that. And I have that in the shade Light, so we'll just see. Um, this is very interesting. This is the Revolution super dewy <laughs> super dewy skin elixir okay let's take a look at that shall we um i just tossed all these things in my cart um and so i can't remember all of them oh okay it says makeup serum i have it in the does it have a shade it's gotta have a shade makeup serum oh it doesn't say Oh, it's makeup priming serum with the dewy finish. Okay, I was totally wrong. I thought it was a foundation, but we'll just see. It might work. All right, now she's got a toy, the cat. She's got her little toy, and so she's going to be going crazy. So I hope you guys don't mind. All right, this is a newer launch for them. I, a lot of these are new launches, but um, this is the Relove from Revolution Super Serum Hyaluronic Acid Foundation in the shade F1. See, now that looks a bit darker. Oh, it's got a sticker on it. Than a shade that I would normally choose. So it's hard to tell sometimes. Oh no, that looks actually almost perfect shade for the what I am now. Okay, it's hard. This is hard to get out, and I don't want to make a mess of it. Uh, it might still be a tad too light for me even right now. And it's got that gray beige undertone. See that? You can't really tell. Oh, not not too gray beige. This one is a bit more yellow though, and you can really tell. Very much on the neutral side in my opinion, this one, but you can I can kind of see that gray undertone. So we'll see. Okay, we'll see. But this was intriguing because it was really inexpensive. I want to say like maybe six dollars. I can't remember. I'll try and put everything in the description below so we can get an, uh, a look at that. But I, I think someone mentioned this or recommended this to me from the Revolution Beauty website. And it's just taken me a while to get it. So that's coming up. And this very exciting, the, the, the XX Rev... Oh, I can't. 
XX Revolution Skin Light Compact Tinted Moisturizer. Okay, so it's like a cushion. Compact Tinted Moisturizer, okay? Online, when you see this product, you just see the open cushion. So I just, I didn't really read too much into it. So when it said tint, um, compact tinted moisturizer, I was like, what? I didn't order that. But yes, it is. It's a, it's a cushion foundation, but I guess they're just trying to say it's like a tinted moisturizer in a compact. But look how pretty. Look at this. I mean, it is kind of large packing. Packaging is a little bit overkill in my opinion, but it's still really pretty. Like, look at that. Look how pretty that is. That's really nice. This feels like very high quality, even though the XX... Um, line of Revolution Beauty is really, it's pretty inexpensive and I think it's, I'm not sure, it's like, I think it's catered to the younger crowd, but um, still, this is very nice and even though like this is like the silvery material, it's not fingerprinting too bad, so okay. Um, and again, I got in the shade Vanilla, it's a tinted moisturizer, that's that. Okay, and we got this coming up. Power Lash Volume Mascara. And I think this is also from the Relove line. So in this same line. So very inexpensive. I want to say this was about $3. So we'll just see what happens. And again, this is Power Lash Volume. Can you see that? Power Lash Volume. Okay. So we've got a bunch of stuff to try today. What shall we do first? I just don't know. I'm very interested in this one. Let me take a look at the shade of this one. This is in the shade Vanilla. I may have gotten all wrong shades. It's just so hard to know like when you're not used to being dark and all of a sudden you are darker than usual. This might be too light. Can we see this? It's supposed to be a tinted moisturizer. Ooh, ooh, feels nice. Very light though. It's probably gonna be too light for me. Oh, oh, and I think that actually has a light, speaking of light. Yeah, the little mirror, no wonder why it's so bulky. It's it's lighted. Okay. So it's got a little light on there, so that's kind of cool. All right, let's check the Revolution Pro Cream Skin Perfector. Technically, I guess it's creme. All right, my cat, I just put the box on the floor so you know what's happening now, don't you? If you have cats, you know. Okay. Oh, lost my box. Very fancy. Like I'm, I will say that I am really enjoying Makeup Revolution or Revolution Beauties. All their lines, all their packaging is just so nice. She's really trying to get into this box. If you'll excuse me, this is the size of the box. Okay, that's the size. She's three times the size of this box, and yet still she tries. I'm just gonna leave it open as much as I can and see if she can get herself in there without making a ton of noise. Hmm? Oh, she's going to try to squeeze herself in there. That is hilarious. Okay, so again, Cream Skin Perfector CC Skin Tipped Tint Shade Adapting Technology. I cannot talk and I do not edit, so I hope you enjoy these very entertaining videos. <laughs> All right. Just see the shade. This is the shade. I'm let me read some of the claims real quick. Oh, it is, oh, shade adapting technology, which means it probably starts out white and then as you blend it, it changes shade. Although, well, no, that's not really the you're not seeing the actual product come through there. That's just the, the color of the actual tube. Yep. White. Let's see what happens. A lot of times these shade shifting uh Products are very difficult to use. Okay, there's your shade. Bit on the light side, I will say. Okay, I think for today's purposes, we're probably gonna have to try this one because it's the darkest, which who in the world ever thought I would say that, right? I gotta use the darkest shade. The darkest of all these insanely fair shades is the shade that I'm gonna have to use today. All right, so your shade shifting product, um, ladies, I know you're smarter than this. Um, what they do is they have all the pigment in little tiny beads that are suspended in the white base. Um, and when, as you're blending it, the, the little beads burst, which disperses the pigment, okay? 
It doesn't actually magically change to your skin color. Um, otherwise they wouldn't have shades on them, such as light. Hmm? Okay. So, all right. Mm, I think that smells really good, honestly. Yeah, it's kind of giving me the um, sunscreen sort of coconutty kind of smell. Okay, so let's do this one. I'm not dying over the shade, but it's going to be the one that matches the closest. So let's just do it. Okay. Oh, okay. Now you see what happened? Look at my finger. When I pulled that out, it splattered all over my finger. So that's something to think about. Very annoying to me, that is. Okay. I'm not freshly moisturized, but I am moisturized. So, okay, this might work out actually. I just, I just don't care for that gray beige undertone. I'm not sure what the claims on this are, so I'm trying to put too much, right? Let's see what if it gives, it just says it's a super serum. Tint, uh, hyaluronic acid foundation, shade F1, okay? I don't think this was probably the lightest shade, but um, it's a lighter shade. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and use my, I really gotta wash my brushes. Um, I'm gonna use my BH Cosmetic Flat Top Kabuki brush and let's just see. Decent shade match, actually. Doesn't match my face. But it's decent to match my neck. And honestly, that might be the best way to do it anyway. I mean, I do match my foundations to my neck anyway, but my face is a lot darker because it got the brunt of that sunburn. <laughs> so it's going to have the most... amount of color and pigment. I'll put all the um, specs that I can remember or that I can find, if I remember to do it, um, in the description box. But this was a very inexpensive product, which is why it intrigued me so much and someone had recommended this to me. And I know like I, I, I do a lot of Makeup Revolution simply because I love, I'm always drawn into their packaging and I actually really liked, like the brand. I found a lot of really nice products from this um, brand of makeup cat um, and they're always releasing new stuff but that's one of the big things about them like a lot of the brands the brand stateside will um, produce like every quarter they'll have a new product or whatever um, but makeup revolution I don't know if that's if they only do it every every quarter but I feel like they are constantly having new products so, all right, it feels a little bit sticky. It feels a little bit dewy, but that is what it says. It says it's a super serum hyaluronic acid foundation. So far from my face to the uh, viewfinder, it's looking very nice. Glowy, but not too glowy. So the perfect may be medium. And I'm, I gotta say the shade is looking so good on my skin tone right now. So let's take a look. Okay, it is a little bit um, crusty right through here. I have this problem constantly with foundations of any brand or type. I just never know until I try it if it's gonna gunk up right here. Doesn't matter what I do. Um, I might really, really, really try to start using a primer of some sort. I do have like some pore filling primers and other types of primers. They're all sitting right here. I just forget about them because they're not part of my daily routine. But, um, so I might try to do that um, in the future just so that we can eliminate that problem maybe. But at the same time, I like to try it with only moisturizer because I think a lot of women, not very many women, or not all women, I should say, use a primer. Um, and sometimes that's just a lot, you know? It's just like one more step that I don't wanna have to do um, when I'm getting ready in the morning. So. I don't know. We'll see. Why don't we, for the sake of today's video, and I really want to be quick because we're already up to like 15 minutes and I'm so sorry, um, but let's go ahead and use this Poreless Putty Primer from e.l.f. on this side of my face. And I got pores just everywhere, so I'm going to put them just put this right here. Got a few right here, but not many. I don't think this primer is very much for mattifying or anything like that, so I think this should really be good enough. 
and I think I'll take a break for like one minute and we'll come back and try the foundation on. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I let that primer kind of sit for at least a minute, maybe a minute and a half, maybe two minutes. And before you guys start telling me how I put my primer on wrong and I'm supposed to press it into my pores and all that, I don't really care because this I'm not using this today as a pore filling primer for the purpose of filling the pores. I just want to smooth out this area so that it won't crust up in the actual crease of my nose. I'm not worried about pores right now, okay? Okay, again, just trying to give this product every chance that we can for it to succeed because I would love it if this is a lovely product because it's so inexpensive. Even if you have to order it online, which you probably do, I haven't seen these in store, um, it's still pretty inexpensive. We're talking about, about $3 here and I'll put all the specs in the description. And I think that's a good price. Um, but I did notice that um, while I was off camera for that minute that the shade is a little bit wonky on me, just barely off, just barely. Like you can just see that gray beige, which just translate at, translates as pink on me and also just makes me look kind of dead. It's just that amount. Or I guess it's just that little bit jarring against my neck that and my natural skin tone that it's just gonna look real obvious on my skin and I really just dislike that okay so I'm gonna say like it's look it's looking so pretty it's just looking so pretty and natural and um it's evening but it's not covering a ton like this is not a high coverage product, I wouldn't say. And there's no claims or anything on the actual bottle. It just says ingredients and that's it. The only thing it's saying is that it has hyaluronic acid foundation and it's 0.84 fluid ounces, so not quite a full ounce. But just so that we can see, let's just see if we can build it up a little bit. And then I'll take a, an up close look at my nose area, which is usually my problem area. Also, um, what else is a problem area? My, around my mouth, it tends to look real crepey. As a first impression, I feel like if you are looking for a very, very natural looking product, that's not gonna offer like a ton of coverage, but still gonna look, just make your skin look good and make, it look more even and just real pretty, this might be your girl. All right, I feel like it did build up a little bit. This side is looking really good. Could be a lighting trick though. Sorry, this is taking so long. We're almost done. All right, let's just do the up close. Yeah, it's looking really pretty, honestly. Okay, yeah, this side is better. Yeah, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I can tell like this side looks a little bit better, not even by much, like it, it's, it, it still is kind of crusting up a little bit, like you can still kind of see the product wanting to collect right there. And you saw me, I was really trying to blend it, blend it, blend it with my brush and everything. Um, just take a... No, you can just still see it. Um, if you do not have large open pores, this might be your girl if you're looking for something very natural and yet still offering coverage, inexpensive, um, looking a little bit glowy. It's a bit, uh, just a touch glowier than what I would prefer. I would prefer something just a tad matter, but I'm going to powder this regardless. So um, yeah, first impression, this is really nice, especially for the price. I can't think of anything that it's reminding me of right now. A little bit, it's reminding me of this, the LA Girl Tinted Foundation. Um, but with more coverage. Like this was really pretty. Um, this has more coverage though, I would say. Um, really smooth, like just looking real, just good, good evening right here. Just looking really pretty. So I'm, uh, surprisingly, I'm, I'm liking this product so far. Okay, so thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to thumbs up, like, subscribe, ding my bell, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.